Thanks for staying logged on to Blacks in Motion, and we're going to go ahead and continue this analysis of advantages of the different aspects of the game for Super Bowl 49 with the Patriots versus the Seahawks. Now, in the previous segment, I broke down four aspects of the game, offense, defense, special teams, and coaching. And right now, Cliff has two advantages for the Seahawks and then two advantages for the Patriots. So the fifth aspect of the game that I want to talk about, which may be the tiebreaker in this analysis, is going to be X factors, things that could happen in players that could make an impact for both of these teams in the Super Bowl. So starting off with the Patriots, LeGarrette Blunt. Hey, this guy has came in and reinforced the running game for the Patriots. Now, it's kind of wacky how he ended up back on the team because, you know, he played for the Patriots before. He signed with the Steelers, got kicked off the team for leaving the field early in the game, and he was welcomed back with open arms to the Patriots. A lot of people are calling conspiracy theory. They think it was all a plan, but I don't know anything about all that. All I know is that guy runs hard. Hard. He's very effective for their offense, and he seems to know that offense very well, and he picks up some of those hard yards on the field. And if he cannot be stopped, it's going to be a problem for Seattle. The second X factor for the Patriots is actually on the defensive side of the ball on, at the quarterback position, and that is Darrell Revis. Yeah, he doesn't make a whole lot of highlights anymore, but defending him, or should I say him putting defense on the opposing team, he still sets him up on Revis Island. If that guy's able to shut down all of the passing attack by the Seattle Seahawks or create some turnovers with interceptions, that could be something that tips the favor of the game towards the Patriots. Now, going over to X Factors for the Seattle Seahawks, yes, Russell Wilson. And you may ask, Cliff, how can Russell Wilson be an X Factor? He's the starting quarterback. He won the Super Bowl last year. It's not so much about just him, but it's the aspects of the game that he changes. If he becomes a runner on offense and the Patriots don't effectively shut him down, it's going to be a problem. Because remember, the Seattle Seahawks still have beast mode Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. I don't think you can handle him and a speedy, smart runner running type of quarterback like Russell Wilson. If he starts to pick up yardage and make the game effective for himself from his legs and with his feet, it's going to be a long day for the Patriots because they don't necessarily have the best defense in the whole wide world. The other thing for the Seattle Seahawks is the defensive line. Michael Bennett, Bruce Irvin, Cliff Averill, these guys are great across that front, front four. And if they get after the quarterback and get after Tom Brady, or if there's a mismatch problem with one of the offensive tackles, it's going to be a long day at the office again for the Patriots because they're going to dominate and possibly kill everything that comes across that line of scrimmage. So, X Factors. I'm going to lead towards Seattle because they have a defensive advantage. And Russell Wilson, if you ask me, has been playing great at quarterback. Look for them to have a little small advantage in that category. So that gives three advantages to two against the Patriots. So on my analysis says the Seahawks are going to win. But what do I think? What do Clifton feel in his heart of hearts? And it's what I've been saying all year. The Seattle Seahawks will repeat as Super Bowl champions. And if you want me to give a score prediction, I'll say it'll be 31 to 17. And that's only because I believe that the defense of the Seattle Seahawks will actually score a touchdown, which will send a two touchdown lead in that prediction, with rather it being a close game, 24 to 17, only separated by a touchdown. Because all in all, controversy, repeat champions, whatever you want to call it, these are the two best teams in the NFL face off this Sunday. Make sure you stay tuned and watch that game because it should be great. But hey, maybe you think I have my prediction totally wrong. Maybe you think my analysis is for the birds. Who knows? Either way, let me know. Let me hear from you. Contact me, Cliff, at blackvideonews.com. And as always, stay logged on and love us right here at Blacks in Motion.